Good morning, my fruity friends. Pastor Val here, and I am so excited to be with you again. Now, in this Fruity Faith series, we've been exploring something that the Bible calls the fruit of the Spirit. Now, if you've been watching these videos all along, you already know a lot about the fruit of the Spirit. But if you're just joining us, here's what we mean when we talk about it. When we were baptized, God planted a seed in our hearts, the seed of the Holy Spirit. And it grows and produces fruit in us, just like an apple seed planted in the ground will grow a tree that produces apples or, or a cherry pit. If you plant that in the ground, it might grow into a tree that produces cherries. But unlike those other trees, the spirit produces a different kind of a fruit. It isn't a fruit that we eat, but it is a fruit that we share. Let's take a look at our Bible verse uh, to learn more about what this kind of fruit looks like. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22-23 Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control? Oh, that's some pretty awesome fruit, isn't it? Let's listen to that silly song again and dance together. The fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. You want to be a grape. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to get tired of that one. I listened to it and danced all over the living room again. Now, together, we've already learned about over half of these fruits. We've learned about love and joy and peace and patience and kindness. Now, today, we're going to learn about the next fruit, which is goodness. Now, you've probably heard the word goodness before. Maybe you've even heard someone say, oh, my goodness, or oh, for goodness sake. Goodness can mean a lot of things, but in this verse, where it shows up in the Bible, 
What it means here is the kind of goodness that looks like uh, generosity, like being happy to share the things that we have. Let's listen to a Bible story about someone who was filled with this kind of goodness. Our Bible lesson today is from the Spark Story Bible, and it's called The Widow's Offering. Jesus sat down outside a temple and taught the disciples about how to share. Do you see that rich man in fancy robes? Jesus asked the disciples. They looked around and saw him. He twirled his robes when he saw that they were watching him. I must be very special, thought the rich man. The man in fancy robes stopped in front of a money box outside the temple. He slowly reached into his money purse and pulled out several coins. One by one, he held them up to the sun so that they flashed for all to see. It's time for me to give to the poor, he said very loudly. The coins made a loud as he dropped them in the money box. Now, Jesus asked the disciples another question. Do you see that poor old widow? Jesus whispered the question because he didn't want to scare her. She looked this way and that. She tried to hide in the crowd. She bent over the money box. Her two tiny coins barely made a sound as she dropped them in. The old woman reached her hand into her pocket. It was empty. Quietly, the poor woman shuffled away. Did you notice? asked Jesus. The man in the fancy robes just gave a little of his riches and showed off a lot. The widow gave only two coins that she had and kept quiet about it. She shared everything. She is the one who gave the most. This is how I want you to share. The end. Wasn't that a neat story? The first guy who came up, he had a lot of money, didn't he? He came marching up with his big fancy robes and dumped a bunch of coins into the count coin box. And he made sure everybody knew what he had done. But the other person in the story, the widow, she came up and she wasn't dressed in fancy clothes, was she? And she only put two small coins into the coin box. But Jesus said that the widow had given more than the man. How could that be? Well, the man, he had lots and lots and lots of money, right? And so even though he gave more coins to him, those coins weren't very much compared to how much he had at home. But the widow, she didn't have very much to begin with, but because she loved God, she wanted to share what she had. And so she gave everything that she had. It's kind of like if I have a hundred stuffed animals and I gave two of them away, I probably wouldn't notice it very much, would I, right? Because I'd still have a lot of stuffed animals. But what if I only had two stuffed animals and I gave both of those stuffed animals away? I'd really notice that, wouldn't I? Because I would have given everything that I had. That's what the widow did out of love for God, she gave everything that she had. Now, this story doesn't mean that you have to give away everything that you have or have to give away all your toys. Instead, what Jesus is telling us is that what is most important is what is in our hearts. If your mom tells you to share with your siblings or with your cousins or your friends and we're really grumpy about it and share just a little bit or share only because we have to, well, that isn't really the kind of sharing that God wants for us. Instead, God wants us to be happy to share, to be generous and to be giving, to share what we have with our siblings or with our friends, with our neighbors, and to do that with joy in our hearts. We've already learned a little bit about joy, haven't we? That's right. But sometimes 
It's hard to share, isn't it? We have lots of really cool stuff, stuff that we really like to play with and use ourselves. But here's the secret. When we do share what we have and when we do it happily with joy in our hearts, well, that produces even more joy. It feels good to share what we have and it's fun to play with other people. And that's what God really wants for us. Isn't that neat? Now, last week, we learned about the fruit of kindness. And I asked you all to send me a picture of what kindness looks like. And I have a few here to share with you. Here's a picture of our friend Tate, who showed kindness by helping his mom with the laundry and matching socks. Here's a picture of our friend Kenley, who showed kindness to her mom, too, by helping with the dishes and keeping the kitchen super clean. Here's a kindness picture from our friend Kenzie, who not only colored this picture, but helps out and shows her kindness at home by taking care of their animals. And here's a picture from our friend Chloe, who not only colored this, but also showed kindness by helping clean her dad's boat. And here's a picture of our friend Kinley, who showed her kindness by helping to cat sit this really cute little kitten. Good job, Kinley. For next week, I'd love to see your pictures of goodness. Uh, maybe you want to color the goodness coloring sheet, or maybe you could send me a picture of something you saw on TV or in a movie or in a book um, or even in the news where you saw someone sharing what they had with people who needed it. Um, or maybe you want to send me a picture of you sharing something with your brother or sister or your neighbor or your cousin or your friend or something like that. Show me what goodness means, what it means to share what we have with a happy heart. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Now, let's practice our memory verse one more time. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. That's all for today, my sweet fruity friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.